In this video, I want to talk about the, in my opinion, best way to stay motivated while learning to code, which also works for me personally. But first of all, I want to say, if you really don't enjoy coding at all, if it really always just feels like work for you, there's no feeling of gratification, then you should probably just switch into a different career as soon as you can. There's really no way why you should force yourself to be a programmer if you don't actually like it. And I know that there are many people who just don't like it at all. So maybe your parents told you you should become a programmer or maybe you are out for the money, but there's really no point in doing something, a big chunk of your life, if you hate it, if you don't like it at all. It will just make you feel miserable. However, even if you enjoy coding, there are many times where it's just not enjoyable at all. And also for me, there are phases where I am not motivated anymore. And there have been a lot of these phases over the last couple years. And I think the best way to counter this, the best way to stay motivated is to uh, build your own personal project. So if you are an app developer, build your own app. If you are a game developer, build your own game. And personally, I really needed a while to figure this out. Because soon after I started learning to code, I immediately started my YouTube channel. So like a few months, maybe two or three months after I started learning to code, I created Coding and Flow. And then instead of working on little projects like you usually do, I really started focusing on making tutorials instead. So I always learned topics just for the sake of turning them into tutorials. And then this whole process become, became really, really boring over the next time and i didn't really understand why i i thought i thought programming was my passion so why was it suddenly becoming very boring but then i realized why it was because i learned the same way i would learn for a presentation in school i i looked up a topic and then i just tried to learn it from top to bottom basically and then i made a tutorial about this topic but eventually i figured out that Learning is much more fun if I'm working on my own little projects and learn this way. There really is a difference if you learn a difficult concept because you feel like you have to learn it, for example, for, for a job interviewer, or if you learn it because you want to apply it in your project, a project you really care about, a project that you want to build. This for me really was a game changer. It made programming fun again for me and I keep doing it like this until now i uh, always try to have at least one little project that i uh, that i'm building for myself that it's fun for me and this project can have a monetary goal you can have the goal of uploading this to an app store or build a real business out of it but it doesn't have to and i think it's also not that important that you actually release it The only thing that matters is that it's fun for you to build it and to build it in a real way by implementing real world stuff into it and using real programming concepts and libraries and so on. Of course, this doesn't mean that it's always fun. There will still be difficult times. It will still be frustrating sometimes. But overall, in my opinion, it's more enjoyable. And with this approach, you are just more patient overall, I found. It gets you into, into the state where you tinker with stuff, where you are try out different things and see how they work or break and then try a different approach. You just have the patience for this when you build on your own project. But I find that I don't have the patience for this when I just learn to, uh, for the sake of learning this topic. Then I just want to get over with it as quickly as possible. Which also means that I'm not patient, which then means that I feel miserable most of the time. Because programming is difficult and you need patience to learn it. And this will also give you a much bigger picture of how to build a real program, how to build software, rather than just learning small isolated topics. And along the way, you will have many small victories when stuff didn't work and then it suddenly works because you figured out why. And this really keeps you motivated and it keeps you going. And I think it's a great way to learn programming. Besides that, I think it's really important that you talk about the stuff you're learning. So you should have a blog or a YouTube channel and you should also be active in some communities. For example, Reddit has different programming communities and I also have a, 
a Discord server, the Coding and Flow Discord server, which now has over 5,000 members already. The link to the Discord server will be in the video description below. Make sure to check it out because there are many other programmers and you can talk with them about any programming or even off topic topics. And I think you should also try to avoid days where you don't program at all. Of course, you can take vacation or family dinner or you should, you should probably not code on Christmas if it's not necessary. But besides that, you should probably do a little bit every day, even if it's just half an hour. And there is a little life hack I'm really a fan of, which is called the five second rule by Mel Robbins. I use it myself sometimes. And the trick is very simple. So the moment you have the instinct to act on a goal. So let's say, for example, you come home and now you have to decide if you turn on the TV or if you code for half an hour or an hour. So right in this moment where you have this instinct to go to the PC, this is the moment where you, where you usually hesitate and then maybe make a bad decision. But what you do instead is right in this moment when you have this instinct, you count down backwards from five. You don't have to count out loud, you can do it in your head, but you have to count down from five. So five, four, three, two, one. And before you reach zero, you have to physically move towards your goal. So in this example, this would be a going towards your desk, for example, or opening the IDE if you're already on the PC. Something physical, some little movement that brings you nearer to your goal. And this really helps getting over this initial um, hesitation and it helps with procrastination because if you get yourself to act within these five seconds then you usually just do it this works with procrastination but it also works with all kinds of other stuff just try it out also don't forget to put your phone away when you are programming when you're working just make it silent or turn it off or put it into another room it's really a poison if you are distracted by notifications all the time and put in some nice music. I myself, I'm a fan of these video game soundtrack compilations. I think they make great working music. I'm always very happy as soon as I turn them on. Just put earphones in, make the music very quiet in the background, just subtle background music, and then enjoy coding. All right, that's it for my tips about this topic. Build your own project. I think it really works. If you like this video, please leave a like below. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these kind of talking head videos. And I can see that the uh, camera is not focused properly, but I will try to fix this in the next video. I hope I see you again. Take care.